morning grubbers. I hope this day finds you well. We're gonna make soup. And I know that sounds strange being that it's July in Southwest Florida and it'll be 92 today at least. But we're in the air conditioning, so it's cool. So we can make soup. Now, as the grubbers know, uh, garage grubbing has always been uh, about value. It, it's, it's about simple, really good food, healthy food, but also with a value orientation. Now, it's 2022 in July. Uh, we kind of got this problem with inflation. Now, I know the government says it's only 8%, uh, actually nine last month, year over year. But look, everything I buy, everything we buy to eat is up 30 to 50. So I don't know where they're getting the number, eight or nine, it's 30 to 50. So what do we do about that? Well, really nothing. We can complain, but that's a waste of time. It doesn't help, it raises our blood pressure. Or we can get strategic and we can fight back. And that's what we're doing today. We're gonna make a soup that is so inexpensive and so healthy that it'll have those inflation accountants scratching their heads. I even added up the cost of the ingredients here and Believe it or not, we're gonna make approximately eight bowls of soup that are full meals for $9.87, which works out to what? A little over a dollar a bowl. And I mean, literally that can be your dinner. It's a really healthy, hearty soup. You wanna throw in a slice of Texas toast or so for another dime, we're eating good and we're eating cheap. So, Garage grubbing value orientation is alive. And uh, in a few minutes, I'm gonna show you the quick ingredient lineup. And then a little bit later, cause it's only nine in the morning, um, we're gonna start cooking this soup. And I'll tell you what it will do. It'll make you hungry. Cause the fragrances that waft up off this hot soup as it cooks down over a couple hours. Oh, I mean, the neighborhood goes crazy. Anyway, we'll be back shortly. Okay. Our ingredient lineup is right here. And as you can see, there's just a handful of items. We start with, of course, sausage. These are links. We're gonna remove the casings. Show you how to do that, it's pretty simple. I use mild, you can use hot, you can use whatever you want. Sausage, number one. And it's this is pork sausage. You wanna you know, use another kind of sausage, beef, or I don't recommend turkey sausage because it's just not gonna, just doesn't work. Um, by the way, this is very flavorful. If you think of all the spices in the sausage, th that, that means you don't need a lot of other spices added because this, this sausage almost on its own is all you need. But we do add a little uh, enhancement over here. We've got to have our diced tomatoes. These are fire roasted. These are really good. If you can get fire roasted, get them. They really do make a difference in the flavor. Canelli beans. What would white bean soup be without cannelli beans? Two cans, we're gonna rinse them. We're gonna put in a teaspoon of the Italian seasoning, a tablespoon of minced garlic. You wanna put in fresh garlic, go for it. But put in a few cloves, two or three. And then finally, we've got a third a cup of Parmesan cheese. And that's it, that's it. It's, as I said, simple. And um, oh, is it gonna be good? Oops, we got the spinach. Put up a half a bag of spinach in. It is, after all, an Italian white bean and sausage soup. You gotta have some spinach, and it's good for you. It's going kind of fast today. Leafy greens, very good for the dog. Okay, Grovers, we're back. Uh, we're gonna remove the casing from the sausage. And it's really simple. You need a really sharp knife, number one. And all you do is just Take the knife and pull it down along the edge. It's apparently not a very sharp knife. What is that all about? There you go. And just split it. And then all you do is up at the at the top here, just peel it away and, and just go pink. Okay, grubbers. 
We have about four cups of beef broth. You can use chicken broth. I think the beef though, given this is got sausage and it's kind of an Italian thing, I think the, the uh, beef broth is richer. It's heavier, but try either one. I like the beef, but that doesn't, it's not a mandate. Okay, so we're gonna put in a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And I'm just gonna put it right in, this is kind of our liquid bowl, so I'm gonna put it right in here. Okay, and then we're gonna to go to a tablespoon, so I think it's a couple of these, <clears throat> garlic powder. Again, you can use fresh garlic if you so desire. Um, if you forgot the garlic powder, it doesn't matter because it, frankly the sausage has already got garlic in it so this is going to be probably like garlic overload the other thing we have here to add the other two ingredients this is the only other two other than the beans we'll tell you about that later we're going to actually add these to the pan we're going to add these to the pan when things get really rocking and also with the cheese we're going to add to the pan so that's kind of a prep, and we're gonna next do the most fun, in my opinion, and that's we're going to saute the pork sausage. Okay, here we go, rubbers. We're going to saute, kind of, I don't know, cooking the sausage at relatively high heat, uh, medium high, because you want to brown it. So we're, that's it. There's the word, browning. We're gonna brown the sausage, okay? So we'll get this guy going and put on this. I'm gonna put it on seven. It goes to 10, the burner. I'm putting it on seven. Okay, grubbers, things are gonna get interesting and actually a lot more fun because we're actually gonna cook something instead of doing the prep. So we've got our sausage here and we remove the casings and we're just gonna drop it in bits and pieces into a medium high pan. And you can make these bits, as we cook it, any, any size you want. Um, if you want larger chunks, that's cool. Um, and once you get it in the pan, then you can start to kind of mince it if you want with that wooden spoon I've got. So we just get it all in here. Da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. Now you want to just let it sit for a bit. Try not to poke it too much um, because you want to brown it and it's very hard to leave it alone but I'm gonna leave it alone it's been about I don't know three or four minutes so we're gonna to start to turn it a little bit and you'll see that we're starting to brown there we go I'm gonna break it up more so I have smaller pieces your wife is like large chunks and you know we're not making hamburgers here I, I agree so I'm gonna start to start to chop it a little bit as we turn it okay we're browned up nicely so it's time for our liquid so be very careful when you pour this you gotta really go slow and put the bottom in the middle of the pan this is our broth and it's going to be almost overflowing, but not quite. And that's fine because the water, the, the liquids are going to, they're going to cook down. That was our broth with spices. And now we're going to put in our diced tomatoes, fire grilled. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. That is mighty fine. And just very light stir. Watch it. It doesn't overflow. Now it's going to come to a nice simmer, and then I'm going to turn it down to low. And then finally, the parm, which is about, again, a third of a cup. I'll just stir that in. It's going to melt pretty fast, disappear. Mm -mm, boy, the fragrances are really intoxicating in this, in this garage. My gosh. Okay, rubbers, that's the slow simmer that we're looking for. So check it every 20, 30 minutes, and what's gonna happen is kind of a crust is gonna form on top, and that's actually good stuff, because that's flavor. And all that is is the, the moisture cooking away, and so you wanna just fold that. There has to be something Freudian about my 
forgetfulness regarding the spinach. I didn't put the spinach in the soup. We're going to do it now, but a half a bag? I, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, it really has got to go in the soup. It's wonderful. Why I keep forgetting it? I just don't know. Don't forget the spinach. It's kind of a <laughs> different soup without it. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, I recovered, you know. I recovered. It's not unusual to have a miscue, but I usually recover. Okay, grubbers, it's been a couple hours as you tediously watch me go through this laborious task, but it was well worth it. Test is in the taste, and here we go. We'll see how we did. It sure looks good. Nice fragrance. It smells like Italy. You must <laughs> be kidding. That is unreal. That spinach hanging down. We didn't forget our spinach after all. This is so phenomenal. I can't even, I can't tell you. I can't describe. It's indescribable. You must make this. You must make this for yourself or for your brood. And remember, it's remarkable because it's about a dollar sixteen a bowl. Okay? So inflation in smation, we don't care. We're busting it at garage grubbing. Oh my gosh. One more. One more. Oh. Yeah. It's ridiculously good, it's ridiculously healthy, and it's ridiculously inexpensive. And I'm starting to sweat. Make some. Unreal. Robbers, thanks for joining. I got some other inflation busters coming your way. How about the 49 cent cheese and egg toasty sandwich coming your way? Oh. Thanks. Adios. Good people, I'm out of here.